Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using roles inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I show you how to export a multi-track QuickTime movie using roles. A role is a label, also called metadata, that is applied to every clip in a project or event to indicate its function. Roles are automatically assigned to every clip during media import, but roles can be modified at any time after that clip has been imported. To export, we could export from the timeline, or we can export from the project library. I'm going to export from the project library. Highlight this, go to File, go to Share, and I'm going to create a master file. Keyboard shortcut is Command E. When I create the master file, several things. One, it has a description which uses the name of the project in the description. The tags are all based upon the events that are feeding into this, and you can add more. For right now, I, I don't really mess with tags much. But the settings window. Under format, you can output video and audio, or video only and audio only. You could also publish to Apple devices or other stuff. In this particular case, I like creating a master file and then compressing that master file. So I'm going to export video and audio. Then the video codec, we have a number of choices. Most of the time, Apple ProRes 422 is the best choice for exporting. If you're using $60,000, $70,000 cameras, you're spending a lot of time lighting, you're making sure focus is dead on, then you may have higher quality with 422HQ. If you're shooting AVC HD, if you're shooting H.264, HDV, you're not spending time lighting, focus is iffy, then you're not going to gain anything by setting it to 422HQ. Just stay with ProRes 422. The only real reason to use ProRes 4x4 is as a program interchange where you want to move something from, say, After Effects to Final Cut, or when you need to maintain the alpha channel, the transparency information in a clip, then use ProRes 4x4. 99.76% of the time, ProRes 422 will be fine. This is a standard def project, so it outputs to NTSC 72480. Linear PCM is technical speak for an AIF or WAVE audio. All three are uncompressed audio. Linear PCM is the default name that covers the whole category. Final Cut uses AIFs, but WAVEs are exactly the same audio data, just with a different file header. So AIF or WAVE are both linear PCM and the best choice. One of the new features in the 1006 update is the ability to include chapter markers. In this particular case, I haven't said any, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. When done, this is something I discovered last night as I was rehearsing this. When done, this will automatically open a movie in QuickTime Player, which is nice and good to review, and I never use that. But what it can also do is it will export a master file, so you've got the master file on your system automatically start Compressor and automatically load the file into Compressor so that not only do you end up with the master file, which I like to have so I don't have to keep going back into the project, but it will simplify the whole process of getting it ready for compression. I like this a lot, and I'm going to change my workflow to be able to take advantage of that. We could do other stuff, but in my case, I'm going to do nothing. This is where roles come into play. We have a couple of really important options. First, we can export our roles as a multi-track QuickTime movie. QuickTime, as a, as a file format, supports one video track, up to three timecode tracks, up to 24 audio tracks. So I could output a multi-track QuickTime movie with what are called stems. Stems are submixes, all the dialogue in one stereo pair, all the music in another stereo pair, and all the effects in a third stereo pair. This makes the re-editing, or changing the language, or changing uh, the, mu the, the music, makes it really, really easy because they're separate stereo files, all contained in the same multi-track QuickTime movie. So I'm going to select that. It says, OK, you want to output video and titles. Yeah, I do. I want to have all of my video, so I've checked that. But I just want to output Spanish titles. So it's only going to output all of my video and my Spanish titles. Notice I haven't gone into the project. I'm changing it here on export. I want to export a stereo dialogue, stereo music, stereo effects. And if I had ambience, I could export that as a stereo pair. 
you can select between mono, stereo, or surround, and stereo is the default. So this is going to create a single QuickTime movie with three audio tracks and my video with Spanish titles. So now I'll just pull this up and click Next. Watch this next step. It says, okay, what are we going to call this? I'm going to call this multi-track roles. I'm going to store it to the desktop. Normally I'd put it to my second drive, but the desktop makes it easy to find for these, these uh, webinars. So I'm going to click Save. Now here's the other cool thing. Remember there's a lot of moaning and groaning that Final Cut doesn't support batch export, Final Cut 10, and it doesn't. But it does do the exporting in the background. If I click on this clock thingy here in the toolbar, it opens up the background task and it says it's currently transcoding that file, outputting it. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. For more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of our recent Power Up webinar on using roles inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 92.